Cancer loves acid. Cancer loves no oxygen. Cancer loves sugar. So after knowing all these things, it makes a lot of sense to alkalize the tissues. So a diet that is highly alkalizing will prevent or help in the treatment of cancer. There is a sharp rise in cancer incidence among young people nowadays. When we look at the risk of being diagnosed with cancer at a young age, say between the ages of 15 to 39, that risk has increased by 40%. In this video, we will learn from Barbara O'Neill, an Australian teacher who is internationally known for her focus on body's natural healing potentials. We will focus on how the environment promotes the growth of cancer cells, including how the body's acidity may help create an environment favorable for cancer. We will equally discover how foods that help the body become slightly more alkaline may help to protect the body against cancer. There are seven foods that are very accessible that can help the body to maintain a healthy pH balance. So to conquer cancer, you need a diet that is highly alkalizing. You need to highly oxygenate the body and you also have to greatly eliminate sugar. Before we dive into the seven foods for protection against cancer, let's first understand a little about the pH balance of our bodies. Maintaining a good body pH balance is particularly keeping blood slightly alkaline with a pH level of 7.35 to 7.45, which is crucial for optimal immune function and protection against diseases like cancer. A balanced pH supports enzyme function, cellular integrity, microbial control, inflammation regulation, nutrient absorption, and detoxification. The good news here is that your diet plays a role in this pH balance. Consuming more alkaline forming foods while moderating acid forming foods helps maintain a healthy pH level. Such a diet can help enhance the body's natural defense mechanism, contributing to overall health and disease prevention. So, what are the best foods to eat to maintain a healthy pH balance for protection against cancer? The first food on my list is lemon. Yes, the first alkaline food is lemon. You might say the lemon is acidic. Yes, it is. And the only part of the body that should be acidic is the stomach. If you don't have an acid in your stomach, then you can't break down your proteins. But when lemon is broken down in the gut and the minerals dispersed, absorbed into the blood and passed to the tissues, it has an alkaline effect because lemon is high in alkaline minerals like sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium and iron so it is healthier to use lemon than vinegar the second food on my list is dark green leafy vegetables and when i talk of dark green leafy vegetables i'm talking about vegetables like parsley celery spinach bitter leaf pumpkin leaves fluted pumpkin leaves or what we locally call okongobong african spinach or what we locally call green, huckleberry, kale, African spinach, or what we locally call green, and so on and so forth. We should be eating them daily. They are alkaline forming foods and are so good for disease prevention or treatment. For vegetables like tomatoes, aubergine, or what we call eggplant, potatoes, bell peppers, for some people, they have the alkaline effect and for others, they have the acid effect. That is why, according to Dr. Barbara O'Neill, the fine-tuning is yours. You need to understand your body to know if these vegetables are good for you or not. If you already have an inflammation condition in the body, then this type of vegetables will feed the inflammation. But if you have no inflammation and no arthritis, then enjoy these foods. When you cook tomatoes with a healthy oil like olive oil, it releases a plant chemical called lycopene. Lycopene is from the fat-soluble family and that's the reason we should eat 
a little healthy oils because it helps release the fat soluble vitamin called lycopene. Lycopene is a potent antioxidant and it has the ability to reduce inflammation of the prostate gland. That's good news, isn't it? So men over the age 40 should have a cooked tomato and olive oil dish at least three times a week. Why not four? Next on my list are certain types of legumes. Lima beans, lentils, and soya beans are three alkaline forming legumes. You wonder why some legumes are alkaline forming while others are not? Certain legumes are alkaline forming due to their high content of alkaline minerals like magnesium, calcium, and potassium, which help neutralize acids in the body. In contrast, legumes with high levels of acidic minerals such as phosphorus and sulfur or high protein content can be more acid forming. However, the presence of fiber and antioxidants in most legumes supports their alkalizing effect. The next food on my list is grains. A grain like millet is alkaline. Quinoa as well is alkaline. They are equally gluten-free and this makes them very popular. Rice and oatmeal are equally not bad grains, though they are a little acidic. But remember, we still need a little acid. So it is safe and healthy to eat rice and oatmeal. The next food on my list are nuts and seeds. Almonds and Brazil nuts have an alkaline effect. Many seeds are considered alkaline forming due to their mineral content. All seeds rich in alkaline minerals like magnesium, calcium, potassium tend to be alkaline forming. These minerals help neutralize acids in the body. Some alkaline forming seeds are chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and hemp seeds. The next food on my list are fruits. Now, there is a question mark with fruit. If someone has yeast present in the body and that person is eating lots of fruit, the sugar in the fruit will instead be feeding the problem and creating an environment of 5.5 where yeast loves to live. So the fine tuning is still yours. Your health condition will tell you whether to eat lots of fruit or not. To maintain at least a 6.5 body environment, we need to be consuming 20 to 30 percent acid forming foods and 70 to 80 percent alkaline forming foods. I am sure you are not surprised to hear this after following up this lecture. Our health is our priority. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like this video and equally share to your friends and family. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.